Hello everybody, welcome to the Rock the World YouTube channel. My name is Harrison and today I'm going to be showing you how to play the Ionian mode. This is going to be the first in a seven part series talking about all of the modes on the guitar. There are seven total. The reason that I'm starting with the Ionian mode is because this is the major scale. This is simplest scale, it's your bread and butter, okay? This is where, uh, this is the scale that all the other modes are based off of. So let's get started. I'm going to start on the third fret of the sixth string. And we're going to use our middle finger because we're going to need our pointer finger later on two. So, third fret on the sixth string with your middle finger. Fifth fret of the sixth string with your pinky. Move up to the fifth string and grab the second fret with your pointer finger. Use your middle finger again on three. Third fret of the fifth string. Fifth fret of the fifth string with your pinky. Second fret of the fourth string with your pointer finger. Fourth fret of fourth string with your ring finger. Fifth fret of the fourth string with your pinky. And technically this is your whole scale because once you've hit five, you've hit your octave. These are all eight notes of the scale, but you can keep going. If you would like to keep going, it's second fret of the second fret of the third string with your pointer finger. Uh, with your ring finger, uh, fourth fret fifth fret with your pinky. Now we're going to move up to the second string, third fret with your middle finger, fifth fret with your pinky finger, and then move up to the first string, the high E string, second fret with your pointer finger, and end on the third fret using your middle finger because this is your G again. We just spanned two octaves. I'm going to show it, now I'm going to play it to you slowly. Alright, it's a nice happy sounding scale, and it's nice and bright. But what if you want to play it faster? It's kind of hard to play play fast when you're when you have some strings that have uh, only two notes on them. Those top and bottom strings can be kind of a pain. So you can do it another way where you you have to do some stretching in the left hand, but it's overall worth it because the picking's a lot more natural. You have three notes on every string. It's a lot easier to go up and down. So if you want to go fast, I'm going to play it fast for you and show you just how much easier it is. And, and notice, notice how I'm kind of stretching with this hand. It's a lot easier to just go right up and right down. So here's how you do it. You're going to want to keep a gap in between your pointer finger and your middle finger. Make sure that you can span two frets. So from three to five in this case. Now we're going to go three, five, first finger, second finger, and then we're going to slap our pinky on seven. This is the same as your, uh, this is the same as the second fret if we were doing it the normal way. So three, five, seven. Now we're going to do the same finger position. One, two, four, same frets. Three, five, seven, three, five, seven, just up a string. Now uh, we're going to inch our pointer finger in, and we're going to grab four on the fourth string, and then five, seven with your middle finger and your pinky finger. Pointer finger, uh, same thing on the next string. So four, five, seven, four, five, seven on the third string. Now we're going to inch in even closer and we're going to move our pointer finger up to five. And then you're going to jump up to the second string and hit seven and eight. And then the same thing on the top string. 
and then you can go back down. Uh, four, three, one, four, three, one, inch in. Four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one. Four, two, one. All right. That, quite frankly, I think is the easier way. And if you notice, we went kind of we went kind of in a different area. That's because we're moving more to the right instead of jumping strings or so early, like we did in the in the other way. So whenever we go up this far, we're kind of getting into the Dorian mode, which is the mode we're going to be learning next time. So there's a little sneak peek. Um, I'm going to play this one slow. I'm going to play this version slow. Make sure to watch my left hand. So now if you want to practice that, first of all, just do it to a metronome. If you're feeling really advanced, then turn on a backing track. Go onto YouTube and search up backing track in G major, because that's the key we just learned. And uh, try the scale out and just kind of explore a bit. Mess around with it. Have fun. I think that's all the knowledge that I can impart you with tonight. Hope you have a nice night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.